Hi, welcome to my channel. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to pick two cards in a second, two tarot cards, and give us a reading for today to give a little bit of guidance. And as I've done that, I've just noticed Poppy's picked up one of her squeaky toys. <laughs> There we go. So you might hear a little bit of extra squeakiness in the background while I do this one. Okay, today is Wednesday, the 9th of November. But if it isn't Wednesday when you get this message, don't worry. If you've come across this um, as a suggested video or, yep, you just sort of found it in your Facebook page or whatever, just accept that this is a message for you as well, and I hope that it does resonate with you in some way. And if it does, please do leave me a comment um, to let me know why, because it's always lovely to get comments. And like and subscribe if you would like to see more of my videos. Okay, so I'm going to do this quite quickly, because I've got a very impatient little doggy down there. She's, yeah, she's got a squeaky toy there. What have we got? Okay, we've got the Justice cards. And I'm going to go straight ahead and pick another card with that. Only because I know the Justice card has come out a lot for us. The last time I think it came out was on Friday when I was doing some Spirit Animal card reading. And it came out as the Elephant. So it was in a very different guise as this, than this lovely lady. But, so I'm, I'm thinking that it's actually going to be a different kind of theme. That's the wonderful thing about tarot. You can get the same card many different times but depending on your situation it can mean so many different things and I'm just tuning into the energy of this card Justice to see what it is. Okay we've got the ten of voices with it. These are lovely cards actually. I hope that you can see them. When I was just talking then, the reason I hesitated just for a minute was because I was thinking of the Justice card, just as I was saying, it can come out in many different ways. And I feel today the Justice card has come out to remind us where it is in the Fool's journey. So it's card number 11. If you know anything about the Major Arcana, it goes from the Fool is zero, and then number one is the Magician, and it goes right through to card 21, which is the World. But 1 to 10 is almost like the fool navigating through his younger years. And then 10 is the wheel of fortune and fate comes in and changes everything, which I very much think relates to our kind of eclipse season that we've just moved on from. And then Plonk seems straight in front of the justice card, which is card number 11. Sorry, Poppy's having a fight now with her toys. So it does, it puts us in the second cycle of the major arcana 1 to 10 being the first 11 to 20 or 21 being the the second so that for the fall represents his more mature he's grown up and i feel that is our message today from the justice this is your second cycle this is you grown up version of yourself you've lost a lot of i don't want to say immaturity but maybe stuff that's had been you've been carrying along with you since childhood all the stuff that we were purging, we were talking about purging our emotions yesterday with the two cards that came up. So if you haven't seen that video, do go back and have a look. And then the day before, we were talking about our mind. We were talking about the Three of Swords and that idea of us thinking in a, in a more helpful way. So I do feel these are all actually connected. And the 11 is really... <laughs> oh, dear. Um, <laughs> so the 11 is... <laughs> is <laughs> really talking to us about the new step of our journey and I don't know if you can see on the camera there but there's a lady and she's halfway up the stairs and she's walking up and I really feel that that represents what I've been talking about that elevating ourselves to a higher level of consciousness I don't think Poppy's that interested though but she seems happy in her little world Okay, all right, so that's why I feel the justice card is out here. Before it might have been like a, something you need to do uh, or, you know, but this is just, right, we're on the new cycle now, off we go. So why have we got the ten of voices with it? Okay, so this, if in a normal tarot, if you want to call it normal, um, relates to the ten of swords. And this lady is split into lots of different parts, but they're all facing the way, same way and they're all moving up. 
And I feel like this is very much the symbol of, you know what, you might have felt in the past, because the 10 is at the end of a cycle, and this is the card number 11. So it's strange that it came out last, second, because it's, it's just you putting your pieces back together. Okay, right, that's the message. So throughout these last few weeks, you may have felt a bit disjointed. You may have felt like, right, I'm working on this part of my life. I'm working on this part of my life. This has happened. And it all just felt too much. But now we're at number 11. We can accept that that has all happened. And it's in the past. And we are now moving on. Card 11 was the dominant card that came up first. So this really is a reminder once and for all that whatever has happened over these last few years, um, few weeks, feels like years, few weeks, and what we were talking about yesterday about our emotions coming out, and on Monday our message was about our mind finally all sort of, you know, thinking in the right direction. This is just one last reminder, let it all go, don't drag it with you. Okay, 11 came out first. This is our new start. This, this disjointed version of us that felt like everything was everywhere and we weren't quite whole. This is the old chapter. And we need to just almost throw that away and let that go. Because as you can see, this lady's moving up, just like the little lady here on the stairs, moving up, elevating yourself. Okay, don't take the baggage with you. I feel is the very strong mass message here of the justice cards. We've arrived at this new cycle. You're more grown up. You're more mature. You've left stuff behind. Leave it behind. Don't forget the fall when he starts his journey. He just has that little tiny stick with the bag. And it's, he hasn't got much baggage. But as he goes through those first ten cards, from the magician to the wheel of fortune, he does. He just carries it on and carries it on and carries it on. But then something happens to change everything. And that's what's happened now. That's what that eclipse was all about. Something magical has happened, sometimes out of your control, to put you where you need to be. But you need to be this new version of yourself, not this disjointed person. That's gone. You've reinvented yourself for this brave and wonderful new cycle that you are about to start. So I do feel that that is a really lovely, it was a, ser it was a serious message, as serious as it can be when you've got someone playing with squeaky toys under your feet. But I hope that that resonated with you and I would love to know how. So do write in the comments if, if that's, that strikes a chord with you in some way. Um, but the overall message is, you know, this was the old you and we're now in the, exactly the right place that you need to be to start the new you. So good luck with that, whatever it is. And I wish you lots of love and lots of luck with that. So come back tomorrow on Thursday and I will read you another two cards for that day. Please do like and subscribe to my channel. And if you do feel that this, this message would particularly resonate with one of your friends, do send the link over to them because it's for everybody to guide them and help them. So the more the merrier. Okay, thank you so much. And I will see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.